guys, and welcome back to another lippy review. We're doing one from Il Maquillage, which I have never reviewed before today. Um, get my little lippy scorecard here. So this is from their Dirty Talk uh, matte lip color line in the color Bella. These retail for $26 a pop, so kind of spendy. It's frankly a good dang thing. I looked them up online before. Before I started this review because I almost wrote it off assuming it was spoiled but it's not so first things first I love the magnetic closure it's so fun like it's fun to play with I have admittedly been playing with this thing for hours leading up to doing this I wish I could say that we're an exaggeration but no it was still light out and it's now dark out and um <sighs> yeah, it's like that. So anyway, <laughs> I'm easily amused, what can I say? But packaging-wise, it just has the Il Maquillage logo down the two cornered sides, has the color name on the bottom, and some kind of logo on top. I guess that's the Il Maquillage logo? I don't know. But anyway, so why I thought it was spoiled... I mean, it has these cool little diamonds down the bottom, but like, above those studs, like, can you see the weird texturing? I don't know if those are little crystals or what they are, but I initially saw that and thought it was little bumps all over it and thought it was bad. I was like, oh shit, I'm not putting that on my lips. Every surface of that is coated. But then I looked it up and literally they're all like that and it's supposed to be that way. Not sure why it's like that, but it, they're all like that, so it's fine. It's not spoiled. We're all good. We're all good here. So, uh, how much product is there here? 0.12 ounces. So that's about standard for a lipstick, really. Um, let's see here. Sorry, I have one of my tomic rocks going. Don't mind me. It pooped. Let me clean it. There we go. Anyway, so... Um, synthetic or organic? I'm gonna assume it's synthetic... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not even going to read those all off, but it's totally synthetic. So, anyway, it's part of a line of these. I didn't count to see how many colors there are, but there's a good range of colors, let me tell you. Not just reds, they have, like, all sorts of different colors. Um, I don't believe any of them are limited edition, as far as I know. Uh, it's not medicated, no SPF. I don't know if you would call it special features or not, but I will say that it is kind of cool seeing the little studs imprinted on it. So I am going to swatch this, and that'll be very telling to see if this is going to feel like sandpaper. You know, that's what this texture looks like on my lips, or what this going to be like, or if that's just like the top layer. So one swipe. Oh. One swipe gives us that. I'm not even going to attempt to build it. That is plenty. Holy shit. But it does smooth down, so I'm guessing that's just like that external layer that looks like sandpaper. So, alright. Let me go ahead. I'm going to apply this in my mirror. It does look creamy, but it is most definitely matte. And I do have... Uh, a tissue nearby so I can blot and then do a second layer, but yeah. I got a hair in it. Oh shit. Oops. Oh crap. <laughs> Alright, so um I'm making a mess of it. In case we couldn't tell. Well, I guess we're gonna do that. We'll just overline it. It's okay. We'll go in a little bit too. Just so it's not like the weird pink line behind all the red. Oh, I can tell this is going to transfer like a beast, oh my god, even though it's uh, matte, oh boy. Actually, this looks more satin than matte, if you ask me. Oh, 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh shit, that just made it so much worse. This is all bad. <laughs> this is very quickly becoming probably my most fail lipstick review I've ever done. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I already used that finger, no! This is so bad. I'm gonna need that uh, tissue just for this, apparently. Oh, that is really not good. Cause apparently once it's down, it um, wants to stain. Oh joy. It's a very messy lipstick if you're not like hella careful. Let me just say that for it. But it's really pretty. It just is quite messy, but like it's a really pretty color. I'm in love with the color. But, my goodness, like, the margins of the lip lines, it does not want to stay confined to. I'm, like, still, like, what fingers have I not used for this? Okay, I'm still trying to clean that up without stopping the video. Oh, no! That is so bad. This is the kind of lipstick you want clear lip liner to trace the margins of first. <laughs> Just saying. Holy crap. Okay. This has been an experience. Okay. Okay. I think we're getting somewhere with the cleaning it up. But, um. Okay. That's about how we're looking currently. And I think that's about how we're going to leave it the hell alone. I was going to do the whole blot and then lock it in with a second layer thing, but you know what? Uh, let's quit while we're ahead, okay? Okay. So, how about it going to transfer? <laughs> I think we've established that. But we will do the kiss test after I evaluate thickness and all that. So... It is very lightweight. Oh god, I still have more of it there, don't I? But anyway, it is very, very lightweight. And it doesn't feel like it's really drying or anything, like a lot of matte lipsticks are. But again, this feels, to me, this doesn't feel like a true matte. This feels like a satin. So, with that in mind, <laughs> um, that probably has a lot to do with that. But it is a good thing that it's not drying, because... I was figuring for sure with that texture that it was going to be a nightmare with that. And it's not, so that is a good thing. Um, it's not sticky, which is also good. But yeah, let's see how bad the transferring is going to be. Well, actually not nearly as bad as I thought, but I mean, it definitely still does it. Ah, uh, let us do the drink test. Oh, this is going to be bad. I just, I know it in my soul. This is not going to end well, but we're doing it anyway for science. Mm -hmm. Now, actually, stay put pretty well. I feel like it's smudged up in the cupid's bow, but that may also have already been there. So, I'm actually going to give it a pass because I can't for sure blame that on it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really dry down, though, to a point where it doesn't smudge. Because I just ran my fingers lightly across it, and look at that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I think uh, we have established that. So, oh, it's, it's a messy boy. It's a messy boy. So... Um, am I giving it the wow factor? I feel like there's a lot of other matte red lipsticks that are this shade I could get, probably for cheaper, that are not this big of a mess. So I don't think I'm actually going to give the wow factor. I just, 
I, I just, I can't. I can't. <laughs> Granted, some of it's user error, but some of it's not. So, with that in mind, yeah, I'm not giving it the wow factor. So what am I going to rate it? Well, no wow factor. Price point is really high. It transfers terribly. Um... I say I think I'll still give it a seven out of ten, but just be forewarned that it is crazy messy, and it will get everywhere at the slightest of provocations. So just be aware of that going in, <laughs> and maybe choose a less vibrant color if you're clumsy like I am. <laughs> so anyway, that is it for this one, guys. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddit, it's everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link as always is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.